Hey guys, welcome to OMG Gamer. Hope you are all doing good. I am Adam and today in this video, I am going to guide you that how to factory reset PS4 without a controller in 2022. Having a modern handheld device like mobile, gaming controllers while gaming, etc. allows us to do activities without putting much strain on our daily life. We must keep them in good condition otherwise their quality will deteriorate with time. Here in this video, we are going to talk about how to factory reset PS4 as it is an important step in the time whenever you are not able to do anything with your PS4 or your PS4 is not able to perform well. So the first thing is when to do factory reset PS4? It is seen that sometimes the PS4 controller behaves weirdly by either not performing the commands given by us or by performing the commands that are not given by us. This is the perfect time to factory reset the PS4, as further delay will just make the problem bigger and not solve it. Now let's talk about how to factory reset PS4. To factory reset your PlayStation 4 you have to follow a few simple steps and they will easily solve this issue. The resetting process can easily be done by logging into the PlayStation account or the account management in PlayStation 4. So the first step is opening the main screen. Open the main screen on your PlayStation 4. And then you have to click on the up button to check if there is any notification on your ps4 before going further if you are new to omg gamer do subscribe to our youtube channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon for more videos on games and gaming stuffs after first step the second step is to open playstation network after you have opened the main screen of the ps4 you have to click on the right button that will take you to the settings menu. Select the settings option and you will need to scroll down and select the PlayStation Network slash account management option. Now you will reach the place where the resetting work is to be done. Step 3 is to activate as your primary PS4. Then you will find that activate as your primary PS4 option and you have to select it. Make sure that your account is activated, if not then activate it. Once done, click OK. Now click again on the activate as your primary PS4 option and then press deactivate. Now click on yes to complete the process. This completes the resetting process and the console no longer recognizes the controller. Now the last step is resetting the PS4. Once the factory resetting is done, restart the PlayStation 4 to see if it working well or not. If after resetting, everything seems fine, then the factory resetting process is done. Some people are also looking for a solution to factory reset PS4 without controller? There are a few ways that can help you factory reset your PS4 without your controller. These various methods include connecting to an external keyboard, connecting to an external mouse, using a PS4 application, or using a Bluetooth device. These are some effective ways to factory reset without a controller. Method 1. Connect an external keyboard. If you have an old keyboard or a spare one in your house, it can easily be useful in this situation. The only thing that you should be careful about is that the keyboard input cable has a USB Type-A connector. If the external keyboard is not the option for you then you can surely move forward. Method 2. Connect an external mouse. It is not a problem if you do not have a keyboard with you, simply a mouse can do the job for you here. The situation remains the same as you need a USB Type-A to establish a connection and then select which profile you would like to connect the mouse with. Method 3. Use PS4 application. A known fact is that the PlayStation application is available to both Android and iOS for free. As long as your PS4 has a connection to your local network, the only thing left here is to connect your PS4 to the app. Once connected, the app will act as a controller and your PS4 will be able to interact with the app. The only important thing to remember here is that the local network should be up and running otherwise the application won't be able to execute the commands. Method 4. Use Bluetooth device. This option only works if you have access to your PS4 settings. Here you have to prepare your Bluetooth mouse or keyboard and navigate in the PS4 settings device's Bluetooth devices. This all needs to be done through the mobile app and then wait for the system to scan. Once the scan is complete the PS4 will be able to recognize the Bluetooth device and you will be able to connect to them. This is all about the methods. Now there are two mostly asked questions which you should also know. So the question number one is how to save my data before resetting PS4? The answer to this question is that you can here use an external hard disk to copy all your data from your PS4 as it will save all your games there and you won't have to worry about your data being lost. Second mostly asked question is how to factory reset PS4 without a password. Well, a useful tip that can work here is that you can turn off your system and press and hold the power button for 10 seconds. This will take you to a service menu that will allow you to do a system restore at a lower level. This is all for the guide on how to factory reset PS4 without a controller in 2022. Hope you like my guide. 
Now reset your PlayStation 4 without any fear, and if you have more suggestions, then do comment down below. Don't forget to hit that bell icon and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more gaming updates. I will meet you soon in another video till then. Take care and keep watching. OMG.